Hey everyone, so today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at a modern cocktail inspired by a classic that we recently just did. That classic that I'm talking about is the Polynesian Paralysis. Today on the channel, we're gonna be making Eric Bogan's Pineapple Paralysis. I'm Andy, this is Easy Tiki Drinks, let's do this. So a few weeks ago, I showed you my version of the classic Polynesian paralysis. I'll leave a card up here and a link in the description below. It's a co classic tiki cocktail based in bourbon that I honestly just don't like. So I redid it. I kept with the same flavor profiles and just re-jiggered re some things, did a split base, and just made it a better cocktail for our modern palate. Today what I want to do is I want to take a look at another interpretation of this. While my cocktail was an interpretation of the original, just rejiggered, what this is, is this is a modern cocktail inspired by the Polynesian Paralysis. Today we're going to be making Eric Bogan's Pineapple Paralysis. Now the Pineapple Paralysis shows up in Minimalist Tiki, which is a book by Matt Pietrick. So I reached out to Eric and I said, hey Eric, I want to showcase this uh, cocktail on the channel. Do you have any background story for me of it? Basically, Eric told me that Matt had reached out to him to craft a cocktail for the Minimalist Tiki book specifically. Now this did happen during quarantine, and so Eric didn't really have much else to do. So he set to work, and the whole goal of the Pineapple Paralysis was to take the Polynesian Paralysis that was created in a time where cocktails were full of fruit juice, rejigger it so that the fruit juice was brought down, pineapple flavors were enhanced, and he just played around with it a little bit to make it a more modern twist. Now, as I mentioned earlier, where my cocktail was a rejigger of the classic, which is why I still call it a Polynesian Paralysis, it's still all the same ingredients, just in different proportions. Eric went and actually used different ingredients, and that's okay. This is not a Polynesian Paralysis. This is a Pineapple Paralysis. It is a riff on the classic Tiki cocktail. So let's see what we're gonna need to make Eric's Pineapple Paralysis. To make the Pineapple Paralysis, we are gonna need bourbon, pineapple rum, orange liqueur, Orgeat, cinnamon syrup, lemon juice, pineapple juice, and tiki bitters. All right, so as you can see, a lot of the same flavor profiles from the original Polynesian Paralysis still hold true, except there are some new ones and we're gonna play around some things. And by the way, for those of you paying attention, when I just did that shot, you may have looked at it and you said, Andy, I see one opaque citrus and I see one kind of clear citrus. What's up with that? Well, let me tell you, the opaque one is my lemon juice, the clear one is my pineapple juice. I've started to clarify my pineapple juice so that it lasts longer. If that's something you're interested in learning more about, definitely drop a comment below, let me know, and I'll shoot a video on it. Anyway, let's build this cocktail. I'll talk a little bit more about its flavor profile, and yeah, I think that's about it. So grab your shaking tin, and let's get started. In your shaking tin, you're going to add three drops of tiki bitters. Next up, you're going to add one ounce or 30 milliliters of lemon juice. I'm gonna follow that up with three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 milliliters of our pineapple juice. Next up, we're gonna add a quarter ounce or 7.5 milliliters of our cinnamon syrup. Next up, we're gonna need half an ounce or 15 milliliters of our orgeat. Now we're gonna add half an ounce or 15 milliliters of our orange liqueur. Next up, we're gonna need half an ounce or 15 milliliters of our pineapple rum. And last but not least, we're gonna need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters of our bourbon. We're gonna add some pebble ice to our shaking tin. And then we're gonna give it a nice whip shake for about five to eight seconds. We're gonna grab a double rocks glass and open pour in. Top it off with more pebble ice. For a garnish, we're gonna go with a mint sprig. And don't forget your surfside sip straw. All right, and then we have it. Eric Bogan's Pineapple Paralysis. Let's give this a try. That is a super well-balanced and delicious cocktail. First up, pineapple and bourbon play so well together. And if it's not a flavor combination you are used to or have played around with, I highly recommend it. The acidity from the lemon juice is balancing out the sweetness from our liqueurs and our syrups super, super nicely. It's honestly just a pineapple bourbon punch to the face and I love it. So Eric, great cocktail. Thank you so much for letting me showcase it on this video. Now let's talk about a few of the selections here because they are a little bit different than what uh, Eric recommends. First off, as I mentioned my pineapple juice, I do clarify, but as you can see, it's still gonna leave a nice frothy head. So don't be concerned there. Next up, the cinnamon syrup. 
Eric just doesn't recommend anything specific. So I'm using my quick cinnamon syrup. And if you're curious about how to make that, it's literally how to make cinnamon syrup in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Definitely go check out my Patreon, subscribe to that because it's over there. Next up, we have the Orgeat. For my Orgeat, I'm using BJ Reynolds. Eric just recommends homemade. I like the BJ stuff. It's got a nice almond flavor, works well for me. Now, as far as the orange liqueur, I'm using Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao, and that's the same one that Eric recommends. So right on the money there. Next up is our pineapple rum. For my pineapple rum, I'm using the Tiki Lovers pineapple rum. And I actually feel like this has a much higher pineapple flavor than a lot of pineapple rums out there. Now, if you're gonna switch it up and not go with the Tiki Lovers Pineapple Rum, I'm gonna recommend that you at least stay with a pineapple rum that is at least 40% ABV. If you go with something like a pineapple liqueur or what a lot of uh, companies tout as like pineapple rum like Malibu, it's not 40%, it's actually lower. It's something more along the lines of like 30 or 35% with a ton of sugar in it. While almost every single pineapple rum has sugar in it, some of them have more than others. So I'm gonna recommend either the Tiki Lovers Pineapple Rum or another one that is reputable. From there, let's talk about the bourbon. And this is really the main star of the show. For my bourbon, I'm using Carefree Bourbon. Now this is a straight bourbon whiskey that's aged for two years and it's 45% ABV. It's a little bit lower than what Eric recommends. He recommends Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. I just don't have that, so I went with the highest proof bourbon I have. Honestly, I'm a rum channel, I don't have a ton of bourbon. So this is the best one I had that fit within that flavor profile that Eric was looking for. Anyway, that's really it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Eric, thank you so much for creating an awesome cocktail and thank you for letting me put it on the channel. If you guys have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to me. I'll also leave Eric's socials down in the description below. Feel free to reach out to him too. He's a great dude. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Easy Tiki Drinks, subscribe to the Patreon, and yeah, that's about it. So until next time, guys, take it easy.